Well, howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Going out today to a different part of Oklahoma. After my dad's passing last year, I had to get some illegal stuff done for various things that, you know, inheritance and yada yada. So I've got to meet from my brother who lives in Oklahoma at the uh, Stevens County Courthouse. It's about equidistant from from both of us, so we're going to meet there and uh, sign some papers and all, but I'm going to work in some record hunting while I'm at it, because that's what I do. So come along, let's go to southern Oklahoma, where the men are men and sheep are mighty nervous. I don't even think they have sheep there anymore. It's a lonely place. Can it be? Finally, getting to Oklahoma. Taking the old route up US 81, still the straightest shot to the veritable paradise that is in Duncan, Oklahoma. That's the county seat of the county where my dad was born, way back in 35. And uh, yeah, it was the big city to the people in the area. He came from Velma. It's kind of still there, but not really. There's the Red River. And here's Oklahoma. Well, isn't that grand? All right. So, uh, oh, be on the lookout. Finally, after some delays, my Bear Family album, Max Stevens, and un Ain't That Right, an unconventional look at Sun Records. It's been so long, I've almost forgotten. It's going to be out by the time this airs. So, uh, air on the side of picking one up it's going to be good. I think you'll like it. If you don't, that's on you. Ah, the splendor of Duncan, Oklahoma. Oh, I have arrived. So I'll go do my business at the courthouse. And then we'll go out and do some business together. How about that? Well, okay, got that done. It went smoothly. Doing stuff at the county clerk, clerk's office. Clerk. Um... That all worked out. So let's go look for records. Howdy. Okay, no luck there, but I guess they're out of the record business. So anyway, let's go on down to the nether den of iniquity or possibility down the road. Oh man. Well, got to get rid of my Honda pretty soon. Can't take it with me where I'm going. And, uh, oh man, oh man, I'm going to miss it. 283,000 miles. Still doesn't drink oil or anything. It's a little rattly. If I was going to keep it, I'd put money into it and make it not rattly. But one does what one must when one must does what or something. Well, all right. Here's the first place that's probably got some promise. I think I found some records here the only time I've been here, which has been, I don't know, year and a half maybe. Been a while. We're way on the north side of that behemoth of a city called Duncan, Oklahoma. It stretches on the highway for a few miles. That's for sure. A lot of memories here though. Like I said, this is where dad, when he was a young hoodlum, would come and hang out. Not at this antique mall, he wasn't into such. Besides, all the stuff was new then. But anyway, let's go in and poke around and see what we can find. And there's some albums. Let's see what's hiding. Ooh, 70s. Pretty good man. There's nothing. Big bad. Jody Reynolds. Hey. I'll have to check that one. I think that's a tough one. Well, it's six dollars. Looks like it's pretty well grubby but unplayed. And Eddie Cochran plays on that. It's Rockabilly. So why not? I like this place. It has stuff. It has eight tracks anyway saw somebody doing an ad for those. They called them A-Tracks. Not eight, but the letter A. A-Tracks. 
Sometimes you have to have subtitles to conduct business around. Ooh, 45s. Hmm? What is that? A tribute to the 58 World's Fair. No. Oh, that looks so good. It was pressed in Memphis, it looks like, too. Man, that, that really looked good for just a moment. Oh, that was painful. Well, all right, so I got that uh, Jody Reynolds record that's got Eddie Cochran on guitar. It's called Beulah May. You know, six and a half bucks, but I know I can do a pretty good return on my money. And if not, I'm stuck with the record that I'll probably like. Oh, well, horrors. Hokey dokey, I've got to stop and hit a Goodwill because, well, because it's there, I suppose. I figure in Duncan, Oklahoma, maybe I'll pick myself up a D. Ray Smith 45 on heart. Oh, that would be a, a great thing. Alright, we got some LPs, might as well look. Since I'm here, nothing there. Don't see any 45s. Well, nothing there. Let's go to the downtown area if we can get through the thralling masses. Thronging? Thralling? I don't care what they're doing. It's their business and none of mine. Ah, so, let's go see what's in the downtown area and we'll go scope that out. I don't know if there'll be anything open. If I remember correctly, the place I would like to go is closed the last time. Well, this place says it's going to open in about a minute see what they've got. Oh, I like that sign down there. I'll see if they're, no, they're not open yet. You know, I don't think they are going to open in one minute. I can smell the records in there too. Okay, so they weren't open yet. If I find something else to go to here, well, good. Well, this is kind of neat. Got a mural of old Hoyt Axton. I liked him. There's Elvis. I liked him. There's Mayborn Axton and Elvis. I liked them both. I liked Elvis twice there, didn't I? Well, great news. The place advertising Les Tits Now has opened. Or at least the front door is open. I was hoping I could catch them. Let's go see what we can catch. Ah, records. They're in the same place, though. And look at that, though. They've, they've moved things around. Good, I like that. All right, let's look. Give me some David Ray, that's all I'm asking. Hmm. All right. Sixty stuff. records in the plastic that way I don't have to touch it eh, custom made gospel no not for me oh that looks good it's not get this thing set right there what was in there nothing Rhythm of Dance, Slow Buck. Oh, okay, that's Dance Studio Record. Falls out of my purview. So, boo-hoo, nothing. But, glad I went. I remember finding a Memphis Mini on 
J-O-B records one time. Had a crack in it, but I still sold it. It was beautiful. Other than that, hard record to find, especially in southern Oklahoma. Well, let's go on down the road. I think we're done with uh, Duncan. Okay, we're at the next place. We'll see. I don't know if I've ever been here. Mm -hmm. 45s. these well that was a nice people there they gave me a bottle of water I guess I looked thirsty and I was actually and then they didn't have any records though but they gave me the water so they get to live but I told them you better have records for me on my next go round then I let them go so anyway I think across the street we've got a place. I mean, it says antiques, jewelry, metal art, an abundance of Sasquatch uh, silhouettes, and big old 18 wheeler trucks that just run me over if I drove out in front of them, so I'll, I'll de politely decline. Let's go see what's going on over here at this place. It's gonna be easy. It's just torture, you know. Karen Records. Nothing really old enough. Not consistently. Okay, no luck. Had a couple of almosts that turned into nah. That's okay. That's what I do. All right. Voted the best in Oklahoma by three people. Well, isn't that nice? I don't know that I ever find anything here. I think I've stopped here exactly once. So, let's be more exact and go find some stuff. What a cool place. I really, really don't want to go there right now. Maybe I'll find the real restroom. Got a bit of a museum thing going here, don't they? Well, nothing, but got a little exercise there. Got to see a little history or something. Doggum it, Nancy's Antiques is closed. That's a place that had good 78s one time. So, we're gonna go on into downtown Warica. Hold on to your hats, folks. Okay, we are in Warica proper. Not in one of the sprawling suburbs, not in the industrial park, but definitely in Warica. I better go all the way up through the edge of town. They're just, they're just might be something. Okay, let's see if this resale shop is open. I don't think it is. And uh, no, no. No, it's not. I don't see any lights on inside. Here's one of the denizens of uh, Warica. Now he may look all mean and rough and tough. Look at that. But you know, those big old bulls are they're 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 gentle creatures you could hop that fence walk right up to him and just <laughs> blow right in his face he'll just sit there and grin and take it they never take offense to every, anything at all okay don't do that okay i have to put that disclaimer in i'm just lying now just out of boredom let's go on down the road i had to do a turn around there it looks like there's a uh well i don't know Looks like a junk store to me. 
Yeah, let's go check it out. Might be something. Well, definitely. And that's okay. I don't care. Well, yes, sir. Now we're coming up to one of those uh, towns in Texas that's just devoted to antiques, it seems. Might be their only cash crop besides a good hat company they've got. Uh, this is Bowie, Texas. I crossed back over into Texas a little bit ago. Snuck through there so they didn't have to run me through the dip to get rid of the stuff I'd picked up in Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, Texas, you about to get a, a smaller pandemic, I suppose, the creepy crawlies. But anyway, let's go over here. Let's check Bowie out. They've got, oh, I don't know, half dozen or so antique malls and things. It may take me an hour or two to get through this town. But anywho, let's do it. I'm not but about two hours from my house anyway, so I got a little bit of time where I can dilly and dally. I do. Been more than one red barn out there I've stopped at, but let's go hit this one. <laughs> well, nothing, I guess. Well, that was disappointing, but it's okay. I, I, can, I can live with disappointment. So let's go on to the downtown part, which is close by. All right, old Chuck Berry. Might as well get that so I can have a copy. More Chuck Berry. Always pays to have some Chuck Berry laying around, Maybelline and roll over Beethoven because, well, why not? All right, if they're open, let's go on in and see what they got. Well, they've got records, but since they're serving food right under them, I can't look at them. Well, that's a shame. Can't get in there to look at the records because, well, it's now a restaurant too. Oh well. You know, I see something over there that might be an antique store. Let's go check it out. Back across the street we go. No, 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 no. Okay, we're at the next place. Might be the last one in town, I'm not sure. But let's go hit it, I've found here before. Mm -hmm. Looks like things have been moved around a lot since the last time I was here, so hmm. who knows? Nope, 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 nope. Well, that's cool. Was accosted in the parking space there by a gentleman that might have some good records, a few thousand 45s or so. So he's got a car and he'll give me a shout. Maybe I can come back up out here sometime soon. All right, we've got another place. Let's, let's check them out. Right there in front, consignment shop. I have found records here. So that pleases me, yada, yada, yada. Let's walk in, then let's walk out and say no, 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 because that seems to be the theme of the day. Well, please, few 45s. Soul record. Maybe check that out. I don't think that's anything. Well, I'm going to beat it home as quick as I can. It's early yet, but we're getting our house ready to show because it's going on the market. I think this weekend, maybe. We've been cleaned on right now, and I've got stuff packed like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, we're making a move. So, anyway, hopefully by the time you see this, 
will have sold the house and be moved. And then what am I going to do? Well, let's find out together. Y'all be good. Unless I see something to stop at on the way that looks like it's got records, then I'll stop and I'll film it. Oh, yeah.